But the crown jewel of Marvel rides is the amazing adventures of Spider-Man. I know, who could have predicted they'd give the best ride to their most popular character? You enter the Daily Bugle, where there is sadly no Elizabeth Banks to greet us, but there is a dimly lit room with a portrait of a J.K. Simmons character, making this the closest we'll ever get to an attraction based on Portal 2. And even though I know this ride was made 15 years ago, and I looked it up, that's Chris Edgerly as J. Jonah Jameson, I swear he sounds just like Alex Hirsch as Grunkle Stan. My people are gone! Half of abandoned ship, and the other probably trapped out there somewhere. Cold and hungry, and not getting any good pictures. I'd fire all of you if I could. As we move through the unsurprisingly empty offices of a print media former empire, we see the standard Universal Theme Park Q televisions, showing us a news broadcast of trouble in the Big Apple. Listen, things are going from bad to worse out there. I gotta go save this. I mean, save some of this action on film. Wow, Peter Parker really sucks at having a secret identity. Thank you, Parker. You're as useful as a wet pile of newspapers. Or really, any sort of newspaper. Print is dead and newspapers are worthless. Hey, thanks for coming to the Daily Bugle before it's demolished and replaced with the Shake Shack. So Jonah throws us all in the new experimental scoop vehicle and has us go out where the crime is. Because he'll do anything to save money, but he doesn't care one way or the other what happens to insurance premiums. The ride itself uses vehicles similar to Indiana Jones, but it also intersperses 3D screens throughout the ride, allowing it to combine the best parts of a dark ride with the best parts of a motion simulator. Did you see that? The spider signal! Ah, uh, yes, the spider signal. A sure sign that what they really wanted to make was a Batman ride. Spidey carelessly jumps off the hood of our car and sends us spinning until we almost crash into a truck. Our hero. But we swerve out of the truck's way and duck into... Warehouse 13? And then we encounter the Sinister Syndicate, the villainous league led by Dr. Octopus, consisting of villains known for stretching or throwing things. They're gonna 3D gimmick us to death! And they recently updated the ride, and even gave Stan Lee a voice cameo at the end. And an animated cameo in the ride, running into a screening of Stan Lee Presents the Clone Saga. And the ride's on Stan Lee Boulevard, here at Stan Lee vs. Stan Lens of Stan Venture. Lovely Stan! Wonderful Stan!